Welcome to our lecture online. Back in the 1990s, we placed a Hubble Space Telescope up in orbit around the Earth. And for the first time ever, we were able to take pictures we could only dream of before. The quality and the resolution of the pictures were incredible of the, with the Hubble Space Telescope. And for the first time, we saw the kind of detail we couldn't see before. And then we took pictures of the Eagle Nebula, the one that we see here on the left. Now, these are not the true colors but there are, there are enhanced colors to be able to see a little bit more detail and by the way on the right side this is a, a detailed picture of the cone nebula also taken by the hubble space telescope but the eagle nebula right here gave us some insight into star formation we didn't have before this picture ended up on the front cover on the time magazine i believe they also put on the front cover of newsweek magazine when it came out and the title of the picture was pillars of creation of course it didn't have anything to do with creation, but it did have something to do with our insight into what happens deep inside the bowels of these nebulas. Notice that there's some very bright stars shining, some very high energy UV radiation kind of clearing out and blowing away some of the nebulas. And then it gave us detail of things like this right here, where we could actually see places where stars appear to be forming as we saw it in real time. Of course, not the moment of the time because those pictures were many light years away but we could at least see that yes on those locations there where stars appear to be forming as the radiation was driving away the nebula around them so that the forming stars the protostars that are forming there could actually be seen on the pictures themselves unbelievable we had never seen that before now keep in mind that these are very large the distance from there to there is estimated at about four to five light years so that these small little nobules there are even much larger than our current solar system so basically those were probably solar systems in the making throughout the nebula you can see other places there were probably the same kind of thing were happening so at the same time there were multiple stars probably in the stages of forming and so now, not only did we have evidence from our theory, looking at blue stars being in existence in the nebulas all over the galaxies, we could also see actual pictures of stars in formation. No doubt, stars are still forming in nebulas all around the galaxy and all throughout the universe. And that is how we know. Pretty impressive, huh? <laughs> yeah, the, you can see the eagle, the, it's the... the, the face right here so this is the neck and the head of the eagle and then this is one of the wings so if you turn it sideways then the eagle is flying this way now the eagle is flying this way but you cannot see a lot of the other part of the eagle nebula right here and this is the part of the eagle nebula you normally don't see that clearly yep